Hello YouTube, UK4321 here, and welcome back to my King's Quest playthrough. When we left off, we had just finished slaying a bunch of goblins. And uh, I took the liberty to walk all the way back to town, and now I'm in front of the alchemy shop. So, here it is. Potions and wares. Alright, so what we want to do here is... Give them the coin. We'll give them the pumpkin first. Give us one shiny gold coin and the beautiful blue flame lantern will be all yours. Now, if you don't recall, we got the coin from him giving us our money back. The mm, merchant, whatever. Thanks, dearie. And here's your lovely pumpkin lantern with a glowing blue flame candle. The prototyping phase was over. No more free dips. Aww. But, uh, I wanted to do both, because I like it when it's purple. It looks cooler. Oh well. Alright, well, now that we have the lantern, we can get into darker areas of this game. And I do not mean that in theme. I mean that in its literal form. This game definitely needs a, a sprint function or a fast travel function or something. Cause um there's a lot there's a lot of times we're just going back and forth. Right now we're gonna go rescue triumph by Wait a minute, how do we rescue triumph? I just found my gold on the on the coin. Because you need the work order to rescue Triumph. I think I may have messed up. We'll see. We'll see. Hopefully the gold coin is here or something. Oh yeah, the gold coin is here. Okay. So after you use your gold coin, it appears randomly, well not randomly, in a, in a location in the map that you can now get to. So, uh, my coin get down there? you get your coin back, you're all like, cool, now that you have the lantern and your coin, you go back to uh, the baker and get that, that pie, because you're going to need that pie. For someone with the appetite of an army. Can we skip through this part? Too much walking, not enough dragons. Yep. So now it does that every time you go through the cave, which is pretty cool of the game. To save us that bit of time. Um, but, like I said, without this specific item, the work order, we will not be able to save Triumph. To get the work order, you need to get past a bridge, and um, to get past that bridge, you're going to need the pie. To get the pie, let's go back to the baker that we already gave the ingredients to. Don't know why I randomly made that voice. Anyways. Thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two, or three, <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. Thank you. I just stuffed that entire pie into one pocket. That makes sense. Let's see here. Oh, I'm supposed to deliver that. Um, let's see, if I deliver the frog, he'll give me a free dip, so I kind of want it to be white, not orange. So let's turn this in. Our order is finally here! Well, part of it anyway. I was just here, Chester, completely forgot. I don't mean to leave a poor review for that merchant on the town board. Ah, this should do the trick. Mmm. It's close, but it still needs that frog's bread. Well, I'm glad I could help. 
further it along. Yes, and as a token of our appreciation, we would like to give you this, this, um, this? This vial of hypnotic powder. Oh, it's expired. It could work. It was just never finished. Let me guess. It's missing lollipop root. Or baby's tears. I can bring you a tub to Mr. Fancy Cakes for... Nope. It just needs raisins. Yeah. Thanks. I guess. For some reason, the, the purple floaty stuff actually fixed itself. So now we have a new item, hypnotic powder, but we need raisins for it to work. That'll be useful in the future. Definitely. You could actually beat this game without completing their potion by keeping that blue feather and using it where the hypnotic powder is going to be used. Interesting, is it not? But if you want to go for the helping hand achievement, you're going to want to complete the potion. So go ahead and follow me. The helping hand achievement is given to you at the end of the game if you do everything I'm doing. So look, a wonderful bridge, right? Remember what I said that these horns were used to summon something to be the bridge? Well, I noticed that those cracks don't really look like cracks. They're more like veins. Regardless of how fast you do this part, you still uh, you still fall. I guess we could have gotten the eye of the hideous beast from this guy. Hasn't anyone told you it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs? Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. Um, careful I've slain many monsters before. I've never seen this option. This is interesting. You know, I normally go with I'm a bridge troll too, but I'm gonna go with B. You better let me go. I've slain many monsters in my day. Oh, how annoying for them. Anyone I know. Well, uh, too many to count, really. Uh, have you heard of the ravenous Yeti of Serenia? The skulking crystal dragon of Eldritch? All slain by me, single-handedly. Oh, you mean Bill and Susan? We had tea together last week. <clears throat> now are you sure you wish to threaten me? I bet you weren't expecting this. Are you kidding me? I know how to fire arrows. Your sting is pretty weak. Are you sure you're not a honeybee? I am most certainly not a honeybee. Uh-huh. That's exactly what a honeybee would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of bees. Stingers hurt Ulfie's throat. Now, what do you want from me, honeybee? That's really cool. So, there's three nicknames you can get from these guys. You can get the nickname Bandicoot by saying you're a bridge troll. You can say you can get the uh, nickname Goose uh, by doing the other option. I forget what it is. And now you get the nickname Honeybee. That's very interesting. So I'm gonna go with. Uh... Is there any way you could let me cross? Mm, I'm not supposed to do this, but Ulfie needs to pick me up. If you bring Ulfie back a snack to satisfy his sweet tooth, Ulfie might consider letting little Honeybee pass. What are those weird instruments that he tells you? Uh... That all those things are to summon the bridge trolls while the bridge is out because the bridge trolls are on strike. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The bridge trolls are on strike because of the guards' pointy boots that step on them. Happy trails. Buzz back quickly, honeybee. Ulfie is starving. I think I like the honeybee. Uh, I think I like the honeybee thing, but we do have something to feed him, and that would be the gigantic pie. This might be this. Yay! Yay! Oh my god! I threatened this thing. <laughs> Thanks for the momentary lapse in conversation. Ulfie was unquestionably hangry. Now that I am refurbished, I'll allow you to cross. Though a quick-footed peacock already got to that snarling snarlax. Oh, I almost forgot! Honeybee, for your act of kindness, 
Ulfi would like you to have this. That was in his butt, as he Whatever tells you earlier. You me, just give it a blow. That was pretty uh, phallic of you. Step lively. Ulfi needs to get back to the guild meeting. It's almost croissant time. Oh. oh yeah, he also specifies he likes to be fashionably late. So you come over here and you grab your coin. I don't know hey, my coin! Say it like that. I don't think you actually need it. If I could find a fast way down there, I would be able to hear the password. Nice of you to finally. Now the way to do this is to go through this scary forest. Those I had A by the way. That made me walk like that forward. To risk taking another step forward. So to pass through the forest, you need a lantern. So you come over here and you're like, work order. That normally costs 25 coins. Now if you look over here, this is the body of the snarling Snorlax. Yeah. Ah, oh, I was fine viewing that snarly snarlax with the six legs, three claws, and one tooth from this distance. Gross. <laughs> little little thing here. Um, I'm actually gonna just gonna pause here, and we'll continue right where we left off next time. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Duke Four Three Two One signing off.